I have a remote desktop over to my show computer. So this is my show computer. And as of right now, I have a few controllers that are offline. But uh, I wanted to share with you that uh, there is a lot that you can do in X Schedule that is rather advanced. I went ahead and I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, do a section or a video uh, on every one of these four specific topics. So um, the first thing you're going to see here, you see here, I have, uh, this is this is literally, this is my home show. So I literally have uh, a 2021 show. I have a schedule made for the weekdays and a schedule made for the weekends. So th the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll quickly review how to create a show. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, add a static sequence into your show bef that will play before and after. So um, then, of course, I have it scheduled twice, once for the weekends and once for the weekdays. The third thing I want to show you is how to make a background sequence. Um, and what I've learned that, that, that works for me and my show. Why would we want to go through this? Well, I, to be honest, um, the, the, these questions get asked a whole lot more than everybody imagines. So creating a static sequence and just playing a static sequence is no big deal. But what about adding music into your static sequence that plays before and after your show while the static sequence is playing? We're going to go through and we're going to do something like this. Now, uh, the other thing that I'm going to start off with is not just one show schedule, because let's face it, uh, we have... Uh, over the years, we, we, we've acquired a significant number of sequences. We've learned how to sequence. Uh, you've been in the clubs. You've gotten sequence after sequence for two years, three years now. And now you want to take your show kind of to a different level and say, oh, on Tuesday night, that's going to be my rock night. I'm going to put all my rock and roll songs out there. Uh, let's say Friday and Saturdays, just for the kids, I'm going to have the kiddie songs out there or the classics. I'm going to put classics out on Wednesdays or whatever. And you can do that. And I want to show you how to do that and make physical schedules. So that's the first thing that we're going to open it up and open up on the other screen. The first thing typically whenever you have, um, whenever X lights, whenever you open X schedule, you, you want to go in and click on, and again, remember I, I said that uh, we were gonna do this unscripted and I haven't practiced any of this, so I'm gonna bumble along and I want you to see that it's, everything is not always perfect. We work through little things and this is how we find how to make things better. So first of all, I went into file and I clicked switch to X lights show folder. So this show folder that I showed in X lights when I had X lights opened up before prior, uh, for the for tonight, so I, I put it in its own. But what we're going to do tonight is we're going to create a playlist and add our sequences. This is the most basic thing that you're going to do whenever you want to play your sequences. So in order to play your sequences first, you need to render your sequences after you've um, created them, after you've mapped them, after you've done whatever to get your sequences into your layout. And when you render your sequences and you save them, you create an FSEQ file. And that FSEQ file is is like the final baked cake version of the sequence that X schedule uses to play or output to your controller uh, out to your uh, controller network. So what we'll do now is we're going to create our first playlist, something that we tell X schedule, hey, all of these songs that you see, all of these FSEQ files or all of these files that I attach to you, I want you to see them and put them in one specific location and those I want you to pay attention to. So we'll create a playlist and we'll click the add button. Now it popped up over here. And what we're doing is what's called a simple playlist. Now, you can come over here and you can name this. Um, this is my, uh, let's, let's call it my schedule. I don't know. We'll call it my schedule. Okay, now we have a schedule. Now, what does that mean? Basically, we have something that we can begin adding sequences to, audio to, video to, whatever it is that we want to add in here. Now, typically, what people want to do is they want to add an FSEQ file in. And so what we'll do is we'll go back here. Oops, Nutcracker, and we'll go into Webinar. That's, oh, no, we just want to go into Nutcracker. And these are where all of my FSEQ files are. So we can click and 
I'm holding the control key uh, in X lights or in, in Windows. And I'm just going to select a couple here, just throw them in here. These are sequences I've already rendered. I've already finished sequencing, and X, X lights made my FSEQ files. So, bam, here's my sequences. Here's my song choices for uh, the show that I'm going to run. Uh, let me uh, get get rid of this one because that one's actually not a song. But uh, so in any event, so th those are my songs, right? And uh, while we're here, I'm going to show you one little helpful cheat um, that might help you. Uh, if, if your sequences uh, are not in the same location as your music directory is, and it's on a different computer, you can override the location where the audio is saved at. You, you just click on the FSCQ, and you can say override the location, and then click browse, and you can browse to wherever that location is on your computer where you can find that MP3, and then just click open. And what x -Lights will do is it'll look in that folder for the name of the sequence that, it, that the FSEQ is looking for, and it'll look for it in that folder. You don't have to you just need to point to the folder, not necessarily. Now, if you uh, want to go, and I'm actually gonna do a, a separate video specifically on this, but I just wanted to point this out while I'm here, because this if, if a song d skips over and doesn't play, it's because it can't find the MP3, so this is how you can fix that. So that's number one. We've added a couple FSEQs, We've got, a, we got our first My Schedule here, and now, in order to make this schedule run, we have to tell X Lights, hey, or X Schedule, we have to say, hey, X Schedule, please play this. And so what we'll do is we will select it, and we will click on the Schedule button. And what basically we're going to do now is fill in the information, and we're going to give it, we can give it a name. So let's say you have different hours for your show during the week. Let's say you have a weekday sh uh, schedule. Um, I call this weekday. And then it's helpful if you know the beginning and the end of your season, what time, when you're going to start your show, when you're going to end it. You can set this up. Uh, you can leave it as it is. It's going to run fine if you don't change it because between January 17th, 2027, that is, and uh, January 2099, any time X schedule turns on, it's just going to play whatever it's scheduled to play. So it doesn't matter if you set this, but if you want to be more specific so it shuts off on a certain day, it doesn't play after a certain day, you can always change this to, to so let's say, 1, 31, 20, oop, 20, 22. Okay, so that would be the 31st of this month. Now, we said we want this to run during our weekdays. Well, what's your weekdays? To, to me, weekday means Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So if I don't want this schedule to run on a certain day, I just remove the checkboxes, right? It's pretty simple. No big deal, right? Now I'm going to uh, use military time, and I'm going to set my on time and my off time. The on time for me is usually 1,700 uh, 30 hours. So that's 5.30 p.m. Uh, my time. And then the off time for me typically during the weekdays is uh, 21, which is 9, and then 21.30 is 9.30 p.m. So we have a couple options here. Gracefully interrupt any lower priority schedules. We'll talk about priority in a second. Uh, hard stop at the end of the time, meaning if it's, if it's, if, if it's 21.30 hours, that means basically stop it at 9, uh, 9.30. Don't play anything else after. Just, just shut it down. And it, mid sequence, um, it will just stop, uh, or wherever it is in in the play schedule, it's going to stop. Uh, you can set this up. This gets a little bit more advanced for scheduling, but just know that if you leave this check mark loop here, it's going to play this schedule that you see that we're created with all of these songs, all of your FSEQs. It's going to play it over and over and over again. Okay, so that's the basics of creating a schedule. Now, priority is kind of important, and the reason it's important is because what we're going to do down the road tonight is we're going to jump in and do uh, a, a schedule for a different show that's going to have a lower priority, and it's only going to play different times other than the main show. But it doesn't matter if the main show's on or not, the main show will have a higher priority and it will automatically play over top of whatever 
the lower priority shows do. And it will make more sense when we get into the priority. Just know that we're going to leave the, that the priority levels, when we talk about priority, if something has a higher priority, it has a higher number. It's, it's pushed, uh, push it up to, I think it goes up to 20 now. It used to be 11 or 10. Uh, it might go up to 20. I don't know what the exact number is uh, off the top of my head. But the lowest priority you can give anything is one meaning it has it's the absolute bottom if anything else has a higher priority and something scheduled over top of it it will never play unless the other thing is over and it allows it to kind of get gets out of the way and lets that one play but if it has a lower priority and there's something scheduled over top of it it will definitely overwrite it so this is helpful and I'll and I'll show you exactly why this is helpful so just in general a quick recap whenever you create a sequence and I'm, I'm actually outputting E131 through my home network right now. What we've done is we've created a playlist. We've created a physical schedule. Okay, now it says weekday. Notice that it's the color green. And the color green denotes that this is the exact thing that is happening right now. This is what's playing right now. If we go over to X schedule steps, we look and see it shows whatever is green, whatever is green here, that's exactly what's playing. So right now, X Lights is outputting the data to my non-existent show con controllers out there, and uh, it's sending a data saying, please play this from now until 9.30 p.m. run these sequences. And so X Schedule will start it, and X Schedule will play it. So now let's, let's get into some specifics. Um, let's add another schedule. Let's stop all. I have a button here down at the bottom that says stop all. Let's add another schedule. Let's do our weekend. So to do our weekend, all we have to do is the exact same thing we just did, weekend. We can run this from now until the 31st of the month, 2022. And we're not going to run this on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Saturday. So the only two days that this is ever going to run is Fridays and Saturdays. We can run our schedule the same time that we run the other one for, which was 17.30, 5.30. And on the weekends, I usually... Let it run until about 10.30 p.m. That's when, uh, after about 10.30, people stop pulling up and sitting. And, and if they do come, we can always add in. There's a button down here at the bottom of the screen where it says, add 10 minutes to the schedule. So you can always click on that button. That's a nice little button to have uh, if you have cars out there. Um, once again, we can, we can leave this loop because it's the same schedule. The only difference is, is we're running it until 10.30 on the weekends. So if you remember here, we, we were only running our weekday schedule till 9.30. That's when the kids need to be in bed by, or they're taking the kids home or whatever, and they catch it. Okay, fine. But after 9.30, you know, pretty much there's no tra uh, traffic out in my streets. So I'm, I'm just running the lights for nobody. It's, it doesn't make any sense. So you have the ability now to create two different schedules for the exact same playlist. So what does that mean? Well, that means we actually can do a couple really cool things. We can actually create a second playlist. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, um, uh, let's go ahead, well, I'll just delete them because it's easier to, easier to delete them. So we have my schedule. Let's say we want to add a second schedule where we have these two different playlists, this is multiple playlists. So instead of this being my schedule, why don't we call this uh, Classics Night? Okay, what if we click on playlists here, we add another playlist, and we create one that says um, TSO Night? Okay, what if we add another one here that says. Um, uh, kids night uh, so these are these are the three nights that we want to run them now we can do something uh, very basic and say let's run our classics every three nights let's run our TSO every three nights let's run our kids night every two every uh, two nights out of the week I, I don't know uh, let, let me actually get rid of TSO nights because it's gonna make it a little more hard I'll just deal with two schedules instead of three so let's go back to the classics here. So we've got our classics, and we want to schedule these on some on 
on, let's say, every other night of the week. And if we do that, we can add the schedule here and we can say, um, oops, cancel. I can schedule the classics for, let's, let's put it, let's give it the name. Let's do classics on Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday, okay? Let's say you want to do it Monday, Wednesday, Sunday. Uh, you put in your start date and your end date for the schedule. And if we want it Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday, let's just uncheck the days that we don't want it to play. So that means we're going to run the classics on Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Those are the only three days that they're going to play. So if we do that, what we're going to have is we're going to have a schedule that plays on our Monday hours. Let's say this, we start the schedule, at, again, it's 17, 530, 1730, and we run it on our weekdays till 2130, which is what I usually run it. And we don't have to mess with priority. Priority is not important. We, these are only going to play Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Okay, bam. So now we have our Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday playlist. Now let's go create our Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday playlist. So if we select this and we hit schedule, and I'll move this out of the way. We'll call this kids Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. Now we'll come down here and we'll check the boxes. We'll uncheck the Monday. We'll uncheck the Wednesday. And we will uncheck the Sunday. Now, what about our hours? So this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Our hours of the week that we run our show, we just said Fridays and Saturdays. So this is, uh, we run our show until 1030. So what we can do is, is we can utilize the Tuesday and Thursday in this, and we can make a Friday and Saturday schedule only for this. So let's go back and delete the Friday, Saturday. Only select Tuesday and Thursday, and because we run it from uh, 1730 to 2130. Oops. 21, I hit the enter button. And we will just run it like standard. Uh, and we're going to stop the schedule here because it's going to play now because tonight's Tuesday. Now we'll go ahead and add another schedule and we'll call it kids Friday, Saturday. So the, the beauty of this is we only need to activate the Fridays and Saturdays. And why is that? Because we're playing it an hour later because it's Fridays and Saturdays. So uh, we start at 1730 and then we end at 2230. So now you have all, all of the days of your week covered. And on Monday, you have your classics until 9.30. Tuesday, you have your, class, your kids until uh, uh, 9.30. Wednesday, classics till 9.30. Thursday, kids till 9.30. Friday, kids till 10.30. And Saturday, kids till 10.30. So there you've, you've fixed your issue with what am I going to do Friday and Saturday. What if you wanted to do one night of classics, or heck, even add another schedule and say, let's do our TSO. So now you can see how you can schedule. Um, uh, we can add another playlist. We can call this our TSO night. We didn't add anything to it, so we'll go ahead and just add something. I'm pretty sure I have a TSO in here somewhere uh, or not. There we go. There's a couple, couple sequences in there. And yeah, TSO. And so let's say Saturday night is the night that we do our TSO. So we can just deselect all of these checkboxes and only have Saturday there. Let's schedule our start time, which is 1730 to 2130, which is par for the course. Now, we already have it scheduled here Saturday, so what's going to happen? Um, we're going to have to come in here, take Saturday off of here. And now we have, oh, and we can change the name of it because Saturday is no longer there. So now you have Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and there's your Saturday there. So you, you can schedule 
three different schedules, four different schedules, five different schedules. You can get very, very complex whenever it comes to creating schedules. And this, I think, is one of the things that people may not know exactly how easy it is to create uh, and to add in. Now, you can save the, save the schedule, and if you hit Reset Schedule, X lights, uh, X schedule will find the schedule that should be playing, and it will automatically play it as soon as you hit the reset all schedules. So um, with that, uh, I am going to kind of pause the video uh, recording and take any questions you guys might have.